get that folding table ready for refilling. Got the number. number of crayons made by Crayola to date. That means our friends back at the factory are still hard at work. Okay. Speaking of hard work, we've got some hot wax to pour. Let's zoom in. Like this. Okay. Um, I don't mean to be yellow, but that looks steamier than hot magenta. <laughs> to make a Crayola crayon, they have to heat the wax all the way up to around 200 degrees. Mango, Mango. That, that is hot. It sure is. And now I'll press down on the top of the table here just to make sure all the holes are filled. Then ice cold water inside the table moves around the holes to help cool and harden the wax. Blizzard blue. Our newborns aren't dressed yet. They're probably freezing after getting that ice water poured on the board. Let's go check on them. They're doing fine. Besides, they're not quite ready for their labels yet. First, we'll have to take them out of the collection tray. Ooh, what's this part called? <laughs> I think they call it dumping out the crayons. Now, every new Crayola crayon gets inspected by a real person like me. We'll take out any crayons that aren't quite ready yet, and then we get to do some coloring. You do? Well, sure. We want to make sure our crayons don't just look perfect, so we test their strength and their colors. Oh, and we want to make sure that a Crayola crayon does not flake. Because no one likes a flaky crayon. That's right, so we'll take these out. What happens to those poor little guys? Don't be blue, Turk. They get to go back into the wax and try again. Now are the crayons ready to get dressed? Our newborn crayons pass with flying colors and they're loaded right here into the hopper of our labeling machine. And this stacker right here has all of our labels, which reminds me, did you know 